Ladies and gentlemen, London, Mines and Money 2013, and we are here at the Fission Uranium booth, and with me here is Dev Rand Hammer from Fission. Dev, always a pleasure to be here with you. Well, thank you. Good thank you. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, well, we spoke the last time in summer, I think, and a lot of good things happened. But my first question would be, how is the status with uh, the uh, merger with Alpha? It's going very well. The actual vote was last Thursday, and I uh, went to court on Friday to get that legal end of it done. Um, this Friday is the actual closing, mm -hmm. and the two fission uranium will continue to trade on Friday, but next week the spin coal will trade as well, which is fission 3.0. Mm -hmm. So it went very well. The votes were about 83 to percent in their favor, and for it to merge with us, and about 90 odd percent, uh, 95 percent for them to merge with us. Mm -hmm. So it went very well. So it means people who hold until Friday a fission share get one new fission spin core share, right? Exactly. They need to hold their shares so at least this Thursday, and if they own the shares by this Thursday, they will be able to get both a spin core share and a fission uranium. Okay, well, that yeah. sounds like a good deal. That's a nice dividend. Yeah, free dividend, yeah. <laughs> okay, so let's come to your company and to your wonderful project, the Patterson Lake South in the Athabasca Basin. You had a summer drill program, so what right. was the outcome of that? It was very good. We were able to um, add zones. Um, Uranium in the basin uh, pinches and swells, and so you, you've got to be very methodical how you drill, but we were able to do that, along with a, a technology called radon gas survey, we were able to identify areas to go to, and where we were, in fact, our third hole of the summer, we came up with one of the best holes in the history of uranium. We had almost 20 meters of over 20% uranium. That's crazy. That's crazy. Wow. It's like, in for those who are gold bugs, it's like saying it's, uh, 20 ounces per ton gold over 20 meters, or 50 meters of five ounces of gold. So very significant, very high grade, again, very shallow. What makes the Patterson Lake uh, discovery very different in the basin compared to the others is yes, it's very high grade, but it's very shallow. And if you look at the other three projects that had been discovered in the basin that were open pitable, meaning close to, close to surface, they've all been mined out. The deeper ones haven't. So mining companies take the low fruit always. So this is obviously going to become a low fruit whoever acquires it someday. Mm -hmm. So the summer program was actually very long. It started in June, didn't even finish till uh, middle of uh, November 11th. So quite a long summer program. And we still have about 40 assays coming from that. So there's lots of news coming. And by the time that news stops coming, the drilling will start again. So there's constant news flow is expected for the next five, six months. Mm -hmm. And I presume every hole was a hit? Every hole in the, on the lake was in mineralization. And, and it goes to our theory that it's one zone and not blobs of uranium. Like not pearls, but just one long rope of uranium in the lake. Mm -hmm. um, when we went on, when we took a big step out towards on land, a few holes did mineralization. But we expected that. When you're doing exploration, you know, it, by definition, you're going to miss because that's what you're trying to do. You're trying to, does that work? To, you know, and so we're trying to be more um, judicial about how we pick our targets, but we are well aware that we're going to miss sometimes. But in terms of the whole, the, from, from where Discovery is old down out to almost a kilometer out, we have not mm -hmm. missed at any time. We've always been in mineralization. Mm -hmm. Wow. Um, so, as you said, we can expect a lot of uh, holes in addition, which uh, you get the results. And you said also uh, you stopped by the 11th November with the summer program, right. but the winter program will start now, right? So what is what is planned for the winter program? How long will it last? Well, it'll, it's actually starting in December. Um, one of the things that you look for in the Athabasca is you want, first of all, when you're looking for uranium, the first thing is you find a conductor. You know, because all graphite comes up through the graphitic conductors in these graphitic domes and, and, the, and it wraps around it. So that's the first thing. Secondly, you want to do resistivity survey, which shows you where the rock is broken. That's where it's come up. So that's second. Um, thirdly, um, you're looking for this using the radon gas surveys to pick your targets. So we've done more of that. So we're going to use these targets to do some exploration. So let's say there's 90 to 100 holes, 20% of them will be holes that we're going to test all the other conductors. Over 100 plus conductors on this property. So we've got a lot more targets left. But the radon gas survey we're starting in December will help us identify that. The rest of the drill holes were to show that it is one zone from zero, zero out there. Mm -hmm. So it's a combination of the two. So we have 40 more assays coming. 
the radon gas uh, survey, and then right away we'll go for these 90 odd holes uh, into the winter program. So it'll go till the middle of, when the ice starts to melt, which is the end of uh, April, we tend to stop middle of April for safety reasons, and then you have another more assays. Yeah. We, we intend to be quite aggressive. Now that we have complete control of the program, you'll see us uh, putting in more holes uh, and being a bit more aggressive. Mm -hmm. And you have the money to do it? We do. On a fully diluted basis, we'll have about 50 million in the company, and so we'll have more than enough funds. We're also very thankful to have a fantastic bank, banking group led by my, uh, Dundee, you know, between Raymond James and them, uh, Macquarie and Canaccords, uh, Cantor, and, and et cetera. Uh, we have lots of supporters. At the end of the day, if you produce results, you get more money. Absolutely. And we've been very fortunate to do that. Yeah, you always produce results. <laughs> <laughs> we try. <laughs> it's really amazing. Um, yeah, so far, I would say uh, I wish you all the best for that. Thank you. And uh, keep it going. And we want to report uh, probably in January already from some new results Absolutely. when we meet us at Cambridge House. Absolutely. Look forward to Thank that. You. Thank you. For your time. Def, Thank you. Thank you very much. You. Ladies and gentlemen, that was Defran Harvard from Fission Uranium. And you heard it. They are absolutely busy. A lot more holes are coming. The winter program will start now in December. And uh, he said it already, 40 more essays will come. So. They keep us very busy. We look forward to that. Thanks and bye-bye from London.